Hey guys, welcome to episode number 43 of OG Toys. I'm OG. Today we're taking our final look at some of the uh, Marvel Avengers figures from Hasbro. We've ex looked at Series 2 pretty extensively. We took a look at most of the figures. Now these guys were the two standout figures that came from Series 1 quite a while ago. And they are Ultimate Hawkeye and Ultimate Thor from the Ultimate Comics. Now, this is the, from the comic series, the subline within the first series of Avengers. We've seen this in the Captain America First Avenger uh, movie line and from Iron Man as well. They've always done a, an Iron Man uh, concept series or a comic series. So it's really cool to see these two guys making it in the first wave. Hopefully we'll see some more comic-inspired figures make their way into maybe Series 4. Series 3, I think, just had... Uh, the movie version of Hawkeye, Black Widow, and a Shatari soldier. Hopefully we'll see some more uh, some more figures coming out soon with the time uh, the DVD comes out, Blu-ray. So, let's take our first look at Ultimate Thor. Now, Ultimate Thor, he's really a simplistic looking character. You know, it perfectly tr portrays the way he looked in the Ultimate comic. Take a look right back down to the... Uh, open back area that's really cool and the hammer it's a huge difference in the hammer from uh you know the regular marvel universe thor hammer that we're used to in Mjolnir. Yeah, you know, definitely is more imposing definitely more badass the head sculpt is just phenomenal you really see the stern look on his face and uh let's take a look at some of the articulation this guy has so Head it does do a 360 ball joint, very minimal though. Shoulder is 360 ball joint, 360 in the elbow, nothing in the wrist, nothing in the chest, nothing in the waist. Ball joint for the leg, and he does have the ball joint swivel for the knee, nothing in the ankle. Now, like I said, what really impressed me about this figure is the simplicity, but just the imposing look that he has. Like, uh, you know, he has some of the classic elements from the Thor costume, these discs on his chest and his belt. Simplistic boots, you know, he's just got some straps on there, but, man, he's just an imposing-looking figure, and he looks just awesome. You know, you want to compare him to Shock Strike Thor, which I had a bit of mixed feelings about it. You know, huge difference between the two. And of course, the movie version, Chris Hemworth version, you know, looks fantastic. This one here, just a total badass. Pretty starking difference between the two. You know, it's tough to say that there's an awesome character, but you can see some certain elements that are uh, running through both those figures. And I remember when I first picked up this guy in Hawkeye, you know, we've been spoiled by the Marvel Universe figures, and I've been buying a whole bunch of those, trying to build up my collection there. And when I took this figure out of the package, I'm like, whoa, what the heck? It's missing a bunch of articulation. I wasn't too impressed with that, and I just kind of put it aside. And then, um, you know, after looking at my collection and taking a look at some of the other figures I had, you know, this Thor really stands out for its unique qualities and appearance. And I really, really like this figure. He's just awesome. Now, he does come with a little gimmick weapon, which isn't that bad, actually. You know, it's pretty simplistic. It's just a spear very Asgardian looking, and all you do is push down on that uh, hilt, and boom, the blades separate. Simplistic, doesn't take, uh, it's not very gaudy like the shield launcher Captain America gizmo. It's not too bad. The other figure we got from Series 1 was Hawkeye, Ultimate Hawkeye. And I've always liked characters that have a bow and arrow. You know, from a kid, I always enjoyed uh, Green Arrow. And I thought Hawkeye was just a knockoff of uh, Green Arrow and Purple. But this figure, wow, it's uh, it just captures the look from the Ultimates perfectly. You know, he's got the earpiece, he's got the cool uh, glasses here, even the, the marksman bullseye there, right on the top in the middle of his head, the blonde hair sticking out. Kind of looks like a Snake Eyes version or something like that, but uh, man, he's just an awesome figure. Now, these are the projectiles for his... Extra little gizmo weapon. These thankfully do come out. And, you know, it doesn't really take away 
from the figure. He's got this huge backpack, but you know what? It doesn't make a huge big difference. It just looks like a weapon stash, a weapon uh, holder or something like that on his backpack. So it's cool. No problem there. It does come with a crossbow, a couple of guns. You can see he's got some really nice detail on his arm gauntlets, his chest, his belt. So I'll just show you. Let's we'll take the crossbow out. The crossbow is very small. And it doesn't fit into his hand perfectly. It's a little loose. But what I did uh, is took a cross. I took a bow, excuse me, from a Taskmaster Marvel Universe figure I have, and just added the bow onto him. And I definitely like the way that looks. And what's really cool, you just take the bow, and you can stash it right in the back of his backpack where those missiles were. So there you go. It's out of the way. You can add that onto him, still holding his guns. So his guns, got some pretty standard guns. This one here, you know, we've seen this before. But what's cool, he's got the trigger finger. So it'll fit in nicely. There you go. His other gun is a bit different. You know, it's a little more something like aim would produce. But it's alright. It doesn't fit into this hand too well because it's just a really slim handle but uh, regardless it's still pretty darn good it looks really nice awesome looking figure so for articulation this guy is pretty standard he's got the ball jointed head very limited range of movements he's got the ball jointed shoulder ball joint swivel at the uh, elbow nothing in the wrist nothing in the chest nothing in the waist his holsters are a bit of swill in there. He does have ball jointed legs at the hip, and he does have swivel and ball joint at the knee with nothing in the ankle. Now his gizmo weapon is this thing here. It's not the best, I mean it's just a huge crossbow and it's ridiculous of course. All it does, you press that button there, these things move up and down. You can put a projectile in there. And there you go. <laughs> Not going to bother with that. But uh, these two guys are definitely the standouts from Series 1. Definitely, if you can find these guys, and I haven't seen them in, oh man, since the line first came out months ago. Hopefully you can track them down. They are well worth the hunt. They are two of the coolest figures. They'll look great with your Marvel Universe guys as well. So definitely pick them up. Thanks for watching, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. We've got more reviews coming soon. Take care.